Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. My name is Dream and today we have another great video because we are talking all about home maintenance. We're talking about those tedious things that you need to do in your home just to simply maintain it, to keep it looking good, to keep it maintained. So I have five areas that we're gonna tackle in our, our, our home, so I'm gonna share that with you guys. So first things first, in the beginning of the year, we're only in February, but in the beginning of January, like everybody else, I was on a organizing and decluttering kick. So I tackled several areas in our home and I actually did a 30 day challenge. I will link down below my Instagram handle. I did it on Instagram and we tackled different areas in our home through 30 days. Some areas were big, some areas were small, but I tackled different areas throughout my whole house and I got rid of probably five, four to five bags of just clutter and things that we weren't using that could serve somebody else better. So I felt great, felt a relief, felt lighter. So after that, we always like to do, after you've cleared out the spaces and you can see everything, I always like to tackle home maintenance. So home maintenance, like I said, is those tedious things like touch up painting, caulking, all of that stuff that um, your home needs just to survive and thrive. So today I'm gonna to tell you guys the five areas that we're gonna tackle in our home. So hopefully it helps you. So the first area that we are gonna be tackling, the first thing that we're gonna be doing is, I like to go around, guys, with my blue tape, just like our I did when we bought our house with our builder, and I like to mark up areas on our wall that need to be painted or a patch. So throughout the year, if you've been hanging up, fun, exciting decor, it's your home, do what you must, um, but the walls get scuffed, you have leftover holes in the wall for maybe pictures and things you've taken down. But I like to go around with my little nifty blue tape, you can't miss it, and then I'll just mark all the areas that need touch-up paint and all the areas that need to be patched and then painted over. Um, I recommend from us, we got a lot of paint from our builder. We've been in our home for a year and a half. So we have like our wall color or our um, baseboard color. We have all of that stuff that it's either in our attic or in our garage. So I just go in and I go throughout our home and touch up all those spaces. Touch up paint and patching holes just makes your home look fresher. It leaves it with a nice blank pretty canvas so you can so your decorations can really shine. I think when you have a lot of scuffs or holes in the wall, um, it just shows the wear and tear of your home. So we like to go through once a year and just um, patch up or fix up any areas that need a little fixing. The second thing that we like to do that also can show the wear and tear of your home is caulking. So we actually purchased, we started already doing a little bit of caulking. You wanna go into your showers. My showers have tile, um, but in the edges they have like, you know, the little waterproof caulking. So you wanna go in your showers, in your bathrooms, around your kitchen, and just touch up those areas that need caulking. Make sure you get the right caulking, because there's like, silicone caulking that you need for wet areas. If you're caulking some areas on like window joints, that kind of stuff, you wanna make sure that you grab the right caulking for that. Um, and the right color, because we have in our showers, we have like a gray looking cement tile. And in the corners, the caulking that they use, our builders used for um, to those seams to put together, it's kind of a gray color, gray taupe color, so I had to go color match that. I just went to Home Depot and I found the right caulking for those areas. So go around your house, find the areas that need just a little bit of caulking and that will help you touch up your home and not show so much wear and tear. I trust me, things will feel fresher with a nice bead of caulking. You also wanna check around your toilets just to make sure that caulking, if it's gotten yucky or gross, I would get that off and then just put a nice fresh bead of caulking 
um, just to freshen up your home for the new year. Third area that um, we like to tackle this time of year, right before spring cleaning, we do like to, I like to go and clean off all of our vents and then make sure you're changing out the vent filters, however many or whatever you have of those. So I like to go around, make sure the vents are nice and clear because we're gonna be turning on air conditioning in the summer and a lot of us are still running heat and you just want things to be coming through without all that dust and dirt and debris. So cleaning out your vents, cleaning off your vents, and then making sure you change out that vent filter. The next area that we like to check or look for this time of year is we like to go through and under our sinks and check and make sure we don't have any leaks. All of our cabinets are lined and when I did my um, uh, organizing and declutter, I did tackle those areas um, underneath. So now that everything's cleared out, you want to make sure you will, you could tell, you're going to be able to tell if you had any leaks or anything like that throughout the year. So you want to make sure you don't have any leaks or any of those things. And if you do, if um, high, hire somebody to come in and to professionally fix those, or if you're knowledgeable in that area, or if you have a plumber in the family or whatnot, make sure that all of those areas get fixed. Um, the area that I like to do a little home maintenance with this year is to clean the appliances. So that's a deep clean to the um, washing machines, maybe pulling those out and vacuuming back there. The same thing to the refrigerator, pulling that out, vacuuming back there, making sure that filter is nice and clean and up to date if you have an ice or water feature in your refrigerator. Also for the dishwasher, I like to make sure that is clean and in good repair. Washer and for my Washing machine and my dishwasher. I like to use the Afresh brand. These are monthly tablets. So I like to do this um, monthly. And then the box for the washing machine, it does have a little area where you can check off. Um, in your washing machine, if you have a little filter, make sure that you are cleaning that out. Of course, your dryer filter and then the dishwasher filter as well. So these are things that the Tablets I do every month, but the filters I don't necessarily do every month. And this is just a great time to make sure that those are cleaned out and everything is smelling good and ready for the rest of this year. But that is it guys. Those are the five areas that we like to tackle in our home just to maintain it and help it um, its longevity. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope um, it helped you out if you are done decluttering and ready to do a little maintenance things around your home. I hope it helped you out. But I will see you guys very soon with a whole new video. Bye everybody.